Hi and welcome back. We're currently on a month-long journey of North America, Greenland and Iceland. Join us on the journey. So we're getting ourselves ready for the long haul flight. First we go from Boston to Charlotte. Then we quickly run and it is going to be a fast run off the plane to our connecting flight which is then from Charlotte to Orlando. That's when the fun and adventures of Universal and Disney World begin. So we've jumped into the American Airlines Boston Admirals Club lounge. Uh, and here they've just got some, you know, general little snacks. There's no really big meals. We've got like little finger foods and some salad, things like that. Mac We've got some cheese. mac and cheese. So more like slight little nibbles. It's quite a large, large lounge. There's more stuff around the side. So after sitting in the lounge for a little bit, we've come to our gate and have a look what we've just seen. Delayed. We leave Charlotte at 10.20. And this is going to arrive at 9.53 p.m. So, so that means half an hour to find our new gate. As long as we leave on time. So we might still be able to make it. Our issue is that we've got a connecting flight from Charlotte to Orlando. So what happens if we can't get to Disney, uh, can't get to Orlando, which means we miss out on one night at Universal Studios. There's high stakes here. This is high stakes stuff. It's the same thing that happened to us in the last holiday when we sat in New Zealand. Yeah, because of because of this. So look, we've still got a chance, but it, the the odds are getting slimmer and slimmer. So we're standing in the line, and we're going to check and see if we're still going to make that connecting flight. Because if we're not going to make that connecting flight, we're going to have to look at other alternatives. Our aeroplane is here, our crew is here, but the weather issues are in Charlotte. So we're just holding on and hoping that the next flight leaving from Charlotte is also running late. Which is a good chance of That's right, if it's bad and bad weather in Charlotte, that means we're gonna have a rough so the landing. Planes are, are scheduled to go there will be delayed taking off as well. Yeah, maybe, because it'll be first on the runway really like we just have to wait to land because everyone else is delayed today. There's gonna be backloaded yeah. landing. Why don't we go down to American customer service and ask them if we can get on Miami? Because that's way closer than Charlotte is to Florida. Because this, flight, this flight's overbooked by four people, so if we move off, that means that lady and can get the flight. And they might give us credit for it, you know how they offer credit? Alright, let's go. So we just spoke to the American Airlines uh, customer assistance, and they just said that all the other flights out to Florida, so like Orlando, Miami, Tampa, all of those airports near where we need to head, um, all are going to be flying out through Charlotte. through Charlotte. And then the connecting flight from Charlotte to any of those Florida airports are all leaving about the same time, 10.30, 10.35. So there really is no difference. So we won't be able to get on a different flight our only option for tonight is to get on this flight, make sure that the... <laughs> it's a prize. That's it, we've got to have everything crossed. To make sure that we get that connected with flight. So it's going to be tight, we might have only about 20 minutes to jump off from one plane and get to the next plane. We can't afford any more delays. And then if we get stuck in Charlotte and we can't make it, we stay the night. Yeah, we stay. and we have to pay for the accommodation. They said because of weather, they won't pay for it. That's a bit sucky, isn't it? But the next thing is the the, the earliest flight out of Charlotte is 7 a.m. or 7:30 a.m. Yeah. So it will be a bright and early start. There's quite a few seats on that one. And yep. if for some reason that sells out, there is an 8.05 a.m. Yeah. And then a 9 o'clock. So we'll be able to get to Universal yeah. for a full day. 
All right, so the crowds are lining up to get onto this flight. Boston to Charlotte. Disney plane. All right, we're lining up. This is it, this is the one. First flight out of two to get to Orlando. Need everyone to be running to their seats. We don't have time running. If equipped with an elastic harness, remove the harness. did find out, unfortunately, that uh, there is going to be a little bit of an additional delay to Charlotte. We're going to get more information on that once we start taxiing out. We'll promise to pass that along just as quickly as we can. Please sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. We'll uh, keep you updated. Unfortunately, uh, we're being told right now that uh, it is going to be about another hour and a half before we can uh, expect to move uh, taxi to the runway. I'm going to go ahead and leave a seatbelt sign on. However, if you need to use the lavatory, please feel free to do so. And also, it's please an feel hour free and to a use half. your Unfortunately, it's just because of the uh, rain showers in Charlotte, and we taxied off the gate in an effort to be in a good position. So, we're sitting on the airplane. And we've just been told that we'll be sitting here at Boston on the runway for another hour and a half until we can move because of this rain in Charlotte. It definitely means we're going to miss our connecting flight, which means now we miss out on one night in Universal Studios. So we've already paid for that accommodation. So that's a shame. We'll, we'll miss out on the first night there and then when we do get to Charlotte we'll need to pay for some accommodation. Mum's just looking up some accommodation options for tonight because we're going to need somewhere to stay until we can get the first flight out in the morning. The flight to Charlotte was meant to be an hour and 50 minutes and we're going to be sitting here for an hour and a half. We'll be sitting here then nearly as long as it takes to get to Charlotte. The gate to attend to a, a passenger matter. And uh, should be parking gate Bravo 7 again here in just another couple of moments. I'd like to ask everybody to please remain seated and uh, we'll keep you updated. Once we get back onto the gate, and we are anticipating Probably means that we won't be able to get off the off the aircraft, but someone will be getting off. I must say, all passengers on board are very patient. No one's caused a stink. Everyone's gone with the flow. So at the time, at this time, we are about to close the aircraft door. If anyone wants to get off the aircraft, this is your last chance. want to make sure that you guys, if you decide to step out of the aircraft and don't take this flight, unfortunately, there will not be any hotels accommodation. The flights are really much tight for tomorrow. Your best option probably going to be on Monday or Tuesday. So if you decide to step out of the aircraft right now, make sure that you understand that there's not going to be a hotel accommodation. If not, you can take this flight out. The captain is waiting for a new flight plan, which it takes five to 15 minutes. Once we get the flight plan, we're gonna close the door and then we're gonna be in the wrong way. People are starting to get really nervous that they're gonna miss their connecting flights. A lot of people are asking if they will be able to catch another flight. And they've said that you will be automatically put on the next flight. So we'll see when that is. We're still sitting in Boston. <laughs> they need to turn the temperature down. Yeah. Everyone's boiling in here. So hot. Maybe a little drink as well might be handy. Yeah. Oh, someone's just got off the flight. 
hey, you know, at the terminal when they asked people if they'd volunteered to get off the flight and they got a travel voucher and then they got booked into the 7 a.m. flight. Looking to be a better option right now. Yeah. This is the highs and lows of travel. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. We did receive good news from air traffic control just, uh, well, just a few minutes ago. We were going to push back and taxi to the runway for departure. We are still looking at just uh, just under two hours en route down to Charlotte this evening. Very important safety demonstration for our aircraft. Thank you. Really, we have to go through the demonstration Welcome again. Welcome to your American Airlines flight. Round it's two. One of our many destinations. Finally heading off to the runway. It's been a pleasure flying with you this evening. We know you have a choice when it comes to travel, so we do thank you for choosing American Airlines. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a few passengers on board who are still able to make their connection tonight onto their final destination from, from Charlotte. But tonight, we ask that you kindly please remain seated so that those passengers who are connecting can make their mail flight tonight. So we tried jumping off the plane as fast as we could. They all let us get up first and we ran but we missed it. The flight's already gone. So sad. Some of them had been delayed, so we were hoping ours was... We had our fingers crossed, but the Orlando had flown. So now we line up at customer service again and we wait and see what flight we can get out first thing in the morning. These are the rocking chairs that inspired us to go and buy rocking chairs for our house. If you want to go, um, look for a hotel which is i think about they said 1.5 miles this has been the longest travel day of the trip so far it's currently it's currently three o'clock in the morning and we've i'd say we've slept on the airport floor but we haven't jad's got a few maybe minutes Maybe, oh, maybe an hour of decent sleep. Paris maybe scraped in 10 minutes. Mum and I just stayed up the whole time. Um, but they rescheduled us onto the 8, 10 a.m. flight. And at the moment it's 3 a.m. Security check-in will open at 3.30 a.m. So we're stuck on the outside of the airport like before we go into security. We're going to try and get into the lounge again because we're a part of the One World Alliance. <laughs> One World Alliance. <laughs> we, because we're part of the Qantas Club One World Alliance, hopefully we can get into the American Airlines lounge like we did previously because we booked through Qantas. Um, yeah, man, <laughs> we're tired. <laughs> we really just hope they let us in like they did at the last one. They should since that's the rules. <laughs> You don't know, just things sometimes get a little bit confusing. Uh, we've just left the American Airlines lounge and we are heading to our gate. This is the Charlotte to Orlando flight. Finally getting back on it. It was scheduled for last night. We've spent the last eight hours sleeping in the airport. It's been a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. It's been hard. But we're here now, ready to go. Whew. Here it is, Charlotte Airport. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We've been running back up and down at a lot. We've just arrived at our gate, C14, and they were boarding group seven of nine, and we are group eight, so we're like, perfect, perfect timing. And then they just called over the speaker Everyone, please take a seat. There's been an issue. We'll let you know when you can line back up. And the board just turned to delayed. So we continue sitting here at Charlotte. What can you do? I don't think we're meant to get there. And I don't know. <laughs> the pilot just got off. All the people that were already loaded on the plane are now getting off. I don't know what's going on. 
It's 7.45 or 7.49 and uh, the new boarding time is 8.55. So we've got another hour of roaming this airport hall. <laughs> what I'm thinking is it may even get further away. Yeah. So I reckon when we go into the club lounge, we See ask what them they can do. if we can change the 905. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to try. I just thought that there may be more delays with our plane. There's more issues. My hair is an absolute mess, but it's the least of my worries right now. I just want to get to Universal Studios. Oh. So you would not believe this story. We just went to the American Airlines desk after the new flight being delayed. Went and spoke to them and they said, well, actually only two of your bags have been checked in on that flight and two of your bags have been checked in on the 9.30 flight. So it was actually mum's suggestion and then they were kind of gonna suggest it at the same time that we all swap to the 9.30 flight because we think the 9.30 flight will get out before our original delayed flight anyway. And if it's a maintenance issue on the delayed flight, it might not even be the hour, it could be even longer. So now we've swapped planes, we're on a different flight number. Hopefully that will get out first. And hopefully our second bags arrive on the delayed flight. This is just insane. Charlotte really wants us to stay here. It does. <laughs> this is this is our new hometown. There's no escaping. Here we go. We has to be the one. We have to get out of Charlotte at some point. So currently the flight is on time at B3. Boards in 12 minutes. Here we go guys, here we go. Boarding in four minutes, four minutes. Surely nothing can change in four minutes. We're getting really close now, really close. Will we get on that flight? We all look like ducks. So mine and dad's bags are the ones to arrive on this flight. So mum and Paris's bags have just arrived on the second plane. Guys, you're not going to be luggageless. One, two, three, and four. So we've come out of Terminal A, level one, and we're going to catch the bus to Universal Studios. So the Universal Shuttle has just dropped us off at the Cabana Bay Hotel, Universal Studios. <laughs> 